everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us. One big, happy, exciting family that we are. I'd like to mention that I do have a private Facebook group. You're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile. Also, if the video is too fast for you, you could always go into the description box below the video. There's a two minute link. It shows you how to slow down the video and also to pause the video, have your closed caption turned on, take notes and take it from there. I do not write patterns for that reason. I put closed caption on. You guys can pause, take notes, and it helps you to slow down the video and go with it. Remember, everything is possible to create. Some people might say, I can't do that. That's just too experience or too, you know what? It's by there that you can gain the experience. And sometimes you'd be surprised at yourself, actually. Um, another thing I want to mention, I also have a Facebook page. You can follow Instagram and TikTok. Sometimes you guys create certain patterns and you're stuck, not just out of my own, but other people's. And I have a few of you that message me on Instagram or on my page. So, or in my group, of course. Um, so you're more than welcome to do that if you're stuck. I am here to help you. So no issues. Um, you can follow me on all of those social medias. And please do share the videos. Sharing is caring. The more we can invite friends and family, the bigger we can grow. It helps us creators to keep going. It's a way of gratitude towards us. And we highly, highly, gratefully, you know, appreciate all the help that we can get. These are four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. They only sell them here in Europe. They're similar to Aunt Lydia, number three cotton. Mine's a little bit thinner, so my pieces become a little bit smaller. Remembering that when your tension is too tight on any project that you do, use a hook or two bigger than your normal size. If it's too loose, then cut down on the hook, uh, a size uh, smaller or two. Uh, in order to tighten up your tension. I get questioned a lot about these balls of threads. They're 100 grams, equivalent to 300, 325 grams. They go for $12. The minimum of order, which I'm shipping them out, are uh, six balls because of the shipping costs. It's horrendous. It's crazy. Uh, what can I say? I don't own the post office and the uh, shipping uh, company, right? can't beat them up as they say so if you're interested let me know uh in the description box there's all the informations like i said there's all my social medias there's also my email and patterns that i do create and you're interested to buy them you could also email and get a hold of me i do sell them okay so uh for the most part i use 2.75 hooks sometimes three 3.5 pair of scissors to cut in, uh, cut the loose ends, and of course a small one to tuck in loose ends. Okay, let's get started everyone. Please don't forget to give it thumbs up on the video. I know that quite a bit of you like to watch my videos, but you got very lazy fingers or thumbs to give it those thumbs up. Help out the creators, not just myself, but many others that do need the help. Okay, costs you nothing, it's for free. Thank you everyone. Oh, and of course, thank you to all the women that came through for helping the other woman in need of thread um, by donating. I also have the PayPal account below. You can donate for some of you that are considering or haven't yet. And below the video, there's a little bag of thanks. That's donations uh, to be also received, but that belongs to YouTube automatically. They take 30% off of whatever you're giving. So for that reason, I have the PayPal account below because they don't take nothing. And it's more for the women. I also want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the ones that have been tipping me for my work, for my services and my time here, dedicating myself almost day in, day out for you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Okay, everyone. So yesterday I had launched a video to these beautiful centerpieces the yellow orangey and the purple and yellow flowers uh, as i mentioned on the this tutorial that i did this is inspired by 
um, Luz Vanya Art Crochet, which I absolutely love her work. And she inspires me a lot. So this was her creation. Uh, she had created only up until the round point here. And then after this round, she added on the flowers. And her edging is different. So it's a small placemat she had created. I extended mine and turned it into my own uh, creation, uh, of course. But... It is her creation from the beginning. Thank you so much, Lusvania. You're just amazing. And she also created the oval uh, centerpiece runner, if you want to call it. What's the good thing about it is with the oval, you can go, even with this one, you can go the length you would like. So for a lot of you that are especially in South America, creating my pieces and selling, you're making your living, feeding your family off these uh, beautiful pieces. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do the oval one and you can create the sets and sell them either individual or with a set. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do today. I will link her uh, YouTube channel below in the description box like I have with some other pieces that I have created uh, inspired by her and even on this one I had uh, linked her YouTube channel so you guys could always go and have a look she's Brazilian and she's absolutely amazing and uh, you can have a look at her channel you're more than welcome to subscribe to her channel help her out you know what I'm saying this is how it goes we help each other out and so we're going to create the oval one. Um, okay, so let's get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. It costs you nothing to hit that like button. It helps the video a lot. It makes YouTube circulate our videos more often so other people can recognize who we are. And uh, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Um, you pay nothing for that. And uh, not just for myself, but for any other creator that you like. Um, we appreciate you very much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. So I'll be using a 2.75 hook. And these are four-ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. The only difference is Aunt Lydia number three cotton is a little bit thicker than mine, so your patterns become automatically bigger. If you don't have these type of threads and you have only, let's say, number 10 Aunt Lydia, you can triple or quadruple your thread um, or whatever way, I guess, whatever threads you're using. Uh, if they're too thin, you can work the magic that way. Sometimes it's a little bit more harder to get your hook through it, but, you know, it is what it is. Not every country has access to thicker threads. Um, you could also check online. Um, I know a lot of my queens from my crochet group order them at Lydia number three online. So you can always uh, check that out. Um, there was some, oh yes, uh, if your tension is too tight, you can use a hook or two bigger size. So you could loosen up the tension if it's too loose then go smaller uh, size or two hook, smaller than usual. So you can have a nice pattern instead of being either too crumpled up or too loose. Uh, doesn't look pretty. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to do the slip stitch knot. Now with this pattern, the length you want, it's up to you. It's multiples of 12 uh, chain right from the beginning. Slip stitch knot does not count. So if you want to go bigger, you keep adding by 12 chains. I'm going to create um, I believe 48. But anyway, you could always look ahead of the video and you should always look ahead of the video before you create any pieces. Sometimes mistakes can be done. We're human, not robots. For some of you that leave sometimes certain comments that it's unnecessary. And um, we can fix it without taking it down. Okay. So I've done 48 chain stitch. If you want to go bigger, you add 12 more chain stitch. And from there on. Because this is going to be just a tutorial sample, I'm not going to go bigger than this. I think it's big enough. 
And now 48 chain stitch. I'm going to add five more. Two, three, four, five. And this is to form my first double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you're going to come back on your fifth one. Not counting from the one on the hook. Okay, we don't count the one on the hook. And then we're going to do one uh, double crochet per uh, per chain stitch. Okay, so make sure you grab both loops on here because if you grab only the top loop, and I mean this loop here, it will turn like a U shape. It will bend. It's not going to look pretty. But if you go right into the center, so basically almost grabbing only that bottom loop, going right there in the middle, you're going to end up with the perfect uh, straight line. At the end, we should have 50 uh, double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've done my 50 double crochets. I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to mark the one before last. If you don't have these markers, you can use a different color of thread just to make sure. So even here, the one before the last one, we're going to put two markers on. So in reality, from where we have the marker to the next one, there's 48 double crochets. Okay, I'm going to come in on this last one again and I'm going to create five more double crochets inside of this last one. That means I'll have uh, my edge, my round corner, six double crochets all together. That's including with the one I did not mark I left behind. Okay, so I have four. five and six okay one two three four five six then we're going to come on top of that one that we marked try to grab it here on the loop of the double crochet in the back and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so we're going to do one double crochet per stitch all the way to where we have the marker okay okay everyone so I finished also the row here now I've also marked on the same direction where we had marked this one I've also put a marker on the same direction that means you're supposed to have the six double crochets in this corner and on the sides here, you're supposed to have exactly like we have here, 48 double crochets, starting from marker to marker, 48 double crochet. Okay. Now, we're going to do the six double crochets also on this, um, on this one. Okay. So we have it marked. And now we're going to count one two three four all on the same stitch of the marker five so we have one two three four five okay one two three four five and we're gonna hook it on the three chain that we started with right up top in the corner and that becomes your sixth one exactly where we started off okay so we're going to take it from there okay everyone so we reach the end i took out my marker where i had it right on top so you're supposed to have one two three four five and this is the sixth so we're closing in with a slip stitch I'm going to come on the next one and stretch a bit my thread and do a single in one chain. 
I will put my marker on that one right after. We're doing double crochet over double crochet. Make sure that you put your marker back on. That first one we did with the single and one chain back to the same space. And make sure you count to make sure you do have your six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, not counting the marker one, okay? So we're going to do that one double crochet until the marker here, and then I'll meet you there. Okay, everyone, so we've reached where we have the marker. We're still gonna do that one double crochet. I'm going to put my marker back on. Especially for people that are not used to with these type of patterns. For people that have more experience, a lot of you just don't even need to put markers because you know what you're doing. So we've reached where we have the six double crochet. We're going to do an increase inside of this edge, two double crochet in the same stitch. So where we have the six double crochets, now it becomes 12 double crochets. So two inside of the same stitch on this round corner, only on the six double crochets at this edge and at the other edge. Remembering what you do on one side, you must also do on the other side. So from where we have the marker, two, four, six, eight, ten, and I think I have too much here. Let me see what I did. Oh, I did three on the same space. Okay. So sometimes you have to recount to make sure that you have the right amount. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Going to do that one double crochet where the marker is. I'm going to transfer the marker up top on the same direction and then one per stitch. So you don't get confused. And then getting to the other corner, you're going to do exactly the same thing. 12 double crochets, two per stitch on the six double crochets. And always transferring your uh, marker up, okay? So I'll meet you at the end after I finish my 12 double crochets on this corner. Okay, everyone, so I've taken my marker out from this one here because we're going to work on it. I finished doing my 12 double crochets. I'm going to hook with a slip stitch and I'm coming into the next one. Now you can do it this way or you can do your normal slip stitch and your three chain. This way, if you do it this way, it won't mark as much your pattern, okay? But you do have to remember to hook on the first one where we had it hooked, okay? Because we are moving one space, um, one space over, you have to make sure that you do that one double crochet there. That's why you need to mark it. If you're doing just a slip stitch and then your three chain going up, then obviously you don't have to mark it. This is a way to secure that you're not going to miss that one double crochet. Again, we're going to do one per stitch and only at the edges, we're gonna start the increases, okay? So I'll meet you at the other edge. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the corner again. I had my marker here. I took it out so I don't get it in the way. And then I'm putting my marker back on. 
we're going to hit the corner where we have the two. So on the first double crochet, we're doing one double crochet. On the second, we're doing the increase, two in the same stitch. We'll have six increases. On the next one, which is the first double crochet, one alone. On the second one, two together in the same stitch. So that's our second increase. Again, one alone on the first double crochet and on the second, two together. This is the third increase. Again, one alone, two together in the same stitch. This is the fourth increase. One alone, two together in the same stitch. That's the fifth increase. And then of course, this will be the last increase, which is the sixth, okay? And of course, we're going to move the marker and then mark it back on again on that double crochet that we did. We have to do exactly the same thing on the other corner, what we just did on this one. So I'll meet you at the end. Now, of course, we'll be doing one per stitch, okay? Okay, everyone, so I took out my marker. I finished doing my last two together. I'm coming on the next stitch, doing one double crochet, obviously, and then the slip stitch on the next one. Okay, you have to remember to put your marker on the one behind because we keep forwarding one. Okay, so we won't have a mark on the pattern. So slip stitch, I'm coming into the next one and I'm going to stretch a bit, do a single and one chain and continue on again until the edge corner and then I'll meet you there, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've taken on my marker. I've done my double crochet. I'm gonna put it back on and we are entering the corner. So on the first double crochet, we're doing one double crochet. On the next one, which is the first of the two of the group, one double crochet. So this time we're going to have two double crochets alone and the increase on the second one. Okay. So we have one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two together. One double crochet, one double crochet. On the second double crochet from the two, two together. We're going to do the same thing on the other corner, the other edge. One and one alone one per stitch on the second one, two in the same stitch. Okay, so continue, and then I'll meet you here at the edge. We'll be doing the same thing, always skipping one over, but we must do our double crochet because we're always forwarding. Like I said, if you don't want to do it this way, as you can see, you will have no mark, right? If you're used to doing the three chain, go ahead. Just make sure you put your marker on so you know that you're not touching the corner ones because it's the increases, okay? Okay, everyone, so I took out my marker. We've reached the end. I'm, I've done my two double crochets. So we have to do one double crochet. another double crochet and close with slip stitch. So we know that we went over twice like we have here. One, two double crochets alone, 
and then we start it. In case you, you get yourself lost if you don't know where you're marking. So you know there's two double crochets alone right after that. And also the same thing on here. So I'm putting my marker on there. So we're going over to the next, stretch it a bit, okay, and do your double crochets until the edge. And then I'll meet you at the edge, okay? Okay, so I was saying two, but it's not two. See, that's how fast we can get confused. So I had to go here and count my edge. Marker to marker gives me 26 total marker to marker. So I came here and counted marker 26 and marked it. So I was already off by one. And that's one thing you can do is count the one corner that you finished up to make sure when you get to the end that you do, do have the same amount, okay? So we're gonna continue on from here until the edge. Okay, everyone, so I've reached my edge, which I've done my double crochet and put my marker right away so there is no mistake. Now we're gonna have three double crochets alone. One, two, and three and the increase will be on the second double crochet from the group the increase so two together again one next space this is my second alone and my third alone so one per stitch three times one, two, three, and on the second one, where we have the increase, we're going to do the increase. Will be the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. On the second one, two together, the increase. We're going to repeat the same way on both edges, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end, did my double crochet. You guys have to be careful on here because, you know, especially for the ones that are going over one um, stitch, right? So, closing in. I do have my marker here. I didn't want to take it out not to lose myself again. So, I'm just going to come back with my marker right up. And we know that the marker is put also uh, one double crochet right after the last group. So that's an indication there, okay? So this time, this row, which is row six, I have not been calling out the uh, numbers. I'll try to mark it as I added it because I forgot to call it out. So one, two, three, four, five, going into row six. So row one, we have the six double crochets. Row two, that's where we did the two uh, double crochets on the same stitch. We had 12. And then row three, we have two together, one alone. Row four, we have two together, two alone. And row five, we have two together and three alone. That should help you out. Going into the next stitch, single okay and we're doing uh, one single per stitch until the edge on the edges we're doing the increase two singles in the same stitch where we have the increases so not hard to figure out so one single per stitch getting to the second double crochet of the increase. We're doing two singles on the second double crochet, but I'll meet you there just to make sure, okay? Okay, everyone, so I did my single where I had my marker and marked it already. 
and I'm going to continue until my second double crochet from the increase. So here I am, we're going to do two in the same stitch. Okay, so one, two, three, four singles alone, two together. One, two, three, four, and two together. We uh, add, we reach the two on the second double crochet from the increase. One, two, three, and four, and then two together. We'll do the same thing at the other edge, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I put my marker on the right place, and I've done one, two, three singles. Don't forget, we have this hidden one, the ones that are following my method. So we have to do a single here. That's where we scoot it over. And then the next one, we're doing a slip stitch, okay? I'm going to come back in the same one with a single, just to make sure we get that single here. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to start to do loops. We're going to have a total of 12 loops before we, or actually when we hit, until we hit the marker. That's the side um, panels, okay? So we'll have 12 loops, but because we still have to come around to create the 12th one on here, so we'll have 11. One, two, three, four, five chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, and come in my fourth. One, two, three, four, five chain. Skip one, two, three, come in your fourth. So that's my second loop. I'm going to continue until I have 11 loops because the 12 one will create it when we come around. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I'm hitting the mark point, and so far I have. 10 loops and doing my 11th now. So one, two, three on my fourth. That means the marker will be in here. Okay. For the people that did the three chain going up, then you should be back here and you should hit your 12 uh, loops. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip one, two, and coming on the third one. Because our 12th loop here at the sides, we're only going to create it once we come around. We're going to have 12 loops here also, okay? So I have my first one, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip one, two on my third third one so we need to here we skipped three went into the fourth and on the edge we're skipping uh, two going into the third one two three four five the chain is the same amount one two uh, my third one so I'm going to do my twelve one two three remembering that this is part of the twelve at the edge okay okay everyone so as I mentioned, we will do the 12 here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. That's for the edge. We'll complete the 12 when we get around. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this is the 12th. Okay. And we continue and do our 12 again. So 1, We start one, two, three into the fourth. Actually, I made a mistake here. One, two, and three. No. Because we have the 12 here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, oops, good heavens, right? So we'll complete the one in when we get to it. So one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so we have the 12. After we do the 12, we have to skip again. 1, 2, 3 on the 4th. And continue to do the 12. 2, 3, 4, 5 chains. Skip 1, 2, 3 on the 4th. So we have 2 already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You need to put markers. Go ahead. 1, 2, 3 on my 4th. This is the 3rd one. 1, 2, 3. I'll meet you at the edge. Okay, you guys. So... We started skipping the four, the three going into the fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we start skipping only two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, into the third. So here's my first one. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, two, into the third. Here's my second one. And we should have 12 at this edge also. Okay, every once I completed my 12 at the edge, we started skipping only two here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we have to do the last one from the 12, which is that skipping those three. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 did my five chain one two three we end right on top of that single with a slip stitch that's my 12 on this side okay so we should have a total of 48 loops all together now you can keep it this way do the walk into the center of your second chain here or you can follow the way I'm doing. So I'm going to do one, two chain, and I'm going to do the sideways double crochet. So I can start working from the center here. So I'm going to come in where I have that single and doing the sideways um, double crochet. We don't need these markers anymore. So you can take them out. We're pretty much done with it. And now we're just going to continue to do loops. So I'm going to come back in with a single and one, two, three, four, five. Coming in the next loop with single. One, two, three, four, five. And again. Okay, we're going to do these five chain loops all the way around. And then we're going to do these sideways double crochet when we get here to the last one, exactly how we just did here. So we can end up working on the center of the loop again. Okay, but I'll meet you here at the end. It's just five chain loops all the way around. Okay, everyone, so we've reached the end. I'm going to do my two chains and my sideways double crochet. So I'm on my second row of loops. We have two more rows. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, single, one, two, three, four, and five, into the next loop, one, two, three, four, five. For the next two rows, we're doing exactly the same thing. So when we come around to the end, we're going to do that sideways double crochet and do a single and create the fourth row of five chain loops. So we have one, two, and three. We have one more row of five loops. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my fourth row of loops. Okay, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six is the singles. One, two, three, four, five, six row is the singles. Seven, eight, nine. And on the fourth uh row of loops is row 10. So I'll meet you at the, at the end of row 10. Okay, everyone. So I've reached my last loop, which I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. 
and I'm going to close it in with slip stitch because I did my four rows. Now we need to put the markers back on just to make sure we have the right stitch. Okay, now it will be easy to figure it out. So we have skipped only two down here and went into the third. We know that this belongs into the corner. So I'm going to put it so we have our first one, two, three uh, skipped here. I'm going to put it here on this um, single, okay, which is the single right after we've closed in the slip stitch, okay? So I'm going to count my 12 loops and put a marker, okay? So I've marked my four corners which we had 12 loops on this edge. And it's not hard to figure out because we have one, two, three, we went into the fourth. So I've put it in here, okay? Not in that same direction because that belongs there. So right after. Then you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I put it in my 12. So we know that this first one is from the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you can see that we skipped the three, went into the fourth right away. This belongs into the curve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this belongs to the twelve. Okay, at the uh, curve. And then this already becomes the first of the 12 of the edge. Okay, that's because the edges were doing four singles in here and at the curve we're doing five singles inside of the loops. That's why we had to put the markers back on to make sure that we are on the right track. Okay, so I think I put everything right through my thread here. Just move my thread. So I'm on here. I know that this is part of my corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and my twelve. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to do five singles because this is my curve. This is my last one of the corner. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming into the next one, just going to move this marker out of here. So I'm coming into the next one. This is part of the edge, and I'm doing four singles only. Okay. All of the edge is four singles and only at the corner uh, at the corners are five singles okay one two three four one two three and four until i get to here okay so if you need it to put we know this belongs to the corner so i'm going to put this marker here one, two, three, and you count your 12 to do your four singles, okay? So I've done my 12 loops with four singles, and I'm coming into the corner one, which is five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to do that 12 times, and that's where I have my marker. Okay. And we're going to repeat the same thing on this side. So we're going to have 12 loops with four singles, and the 12 loops here at the edge with five singles. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so this would be row 11. 
and we're going to, I finished doing my five, one, two, three, four, five. We are still on this loop of five, so I'm going to close it in with slip stitch, okay? Going into row 12. I'm coming in the next space. We're only going to be doing increases at the curves. I'm going to stretch it a bit and do a single and one chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm coming in the next one with double crochet and the next one double crochet and on this last one I'm going to do let me just see here one two three four and five I'm going to do two together on this last double crochet of the um, of the five um, singles okay now from here on until the marker it's exactly those 48 double crochets that we had from the beginning here so one two three Four. So you're going to count 48 double crochets. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 48 double crochets. That's right after my marker. We have the increase here at the last single of the five singles. And then these start with the four singles. So I have 48 double crochets. Now, here I'm going to do nine double crochets alone. We're going to have six increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's one first stitch on my tenth one I'm doing two in the same stitch that's my first increase so I'm going to continue on again nine double crochets one per stitch because this is the curve okay and then do my increase on the tenth one two in the same stitch so I'm going to have six increases on me two at the other end of the marker okay everyone so I've done my six in well going to do my sixth increase and I've arrived on my last one which is my sixth increase right on it on my last one before the marker and then I start with my uh, 48 double crochets again okay until the next corner and then do your increases again nine alone on the tenth one add your two together okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i've reached the end now counting from my fifth increase one two three four five six and then i have seven that's that single and that one chain we did eight and nine then we have the last increase there so I'm just going to close it up on my last uh, on my first double crochet I should say okay now this next row is very simple we are going into the next one as we've been doing stretch it a bit single and one chain where we have the second increase that means the second double crochet on the same space that's where we're going to do the increase on the edges okay or the round um, sides so i'm on the second double crochet that means i'm doing the increase and then one per stitch as we've been doing so that's all there is on this row it's just double crochet over double crochet and doing the increase when we get to that first increase we did 
on the second double crochet, we'll put two together on the same stitch. Okay, so that's all there is, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much reached the end, close with a slip stitch. I'm going to come on the same one, do a single, and chain five. Two, three, four, five. So basically, we are going to repeat four rows of this. Now, Lusvania, she had just done only up until here. And then if you want to create this size exactly like hers, then you would just jump to row 22, which is the green. We start with the leaves of the flower. Okay, so five. One, two, three on my fourth. We're creating those loops again. Now we got to make sure that we have even numbers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and on the fourth. And the same thing at the edges. We did enough increase as it is to continue on. If we need to make an adjustment, we will. We have to have even number loops, okay? Okay, everyone. So up until now, I have 58 loops, jumping three space going into the fourth. I need an even number. So I have 58. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to skip one, two, three. I'm coming on that fourth. And I will have one, two, and it's on the third one. So I'm okay. So it's just a little adjustment. We had to uh, only one space. We'll have skipped one two space and into the third that's fine two three four five and um oops no i'm going to do the uh, sideways exactly how we did here two chain the sideways double crochet coming in that single and doing the sideways coming back in again so now i have my 60 loops chains of five single one two three four five I'm going to do six chain this time because I don't want my pattern to pull. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do four rows like this. I have two more exactly how we did here with six chain. And then do the sideways double crochet to come in so we can start at the center. So I'll meet you after my fourth uh, row on, on uh, chains, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I'm going inside of the loop, and I'm going to do five singles per loop. One, two, three, four, five. Next loop, one, two, three, four, and five. So this whole row will be five singles on each loop all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I believe that I've reached row 19. Let me just confirm. Yes, row 19. So going into row 20. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in and do single and two chain. So that's my first double crochet. I'm coming back in again in the same stitch and repeating two together. So basically what we're doing here is the same thing as we did here on row uh, 12. Okay, two together and nine double crochets alone. Okay, so I started with double crochet in the same stitch, increase another double crochet, so two together. One, two, three, four, five, made a mistake here, added two together, not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine on my tenth one i'm doing two together and the next row will be exactly the same thing as this one so you would do your two together on your 11th double crochet that means you'd have 10 alone okay so we're going to do this row and the next row and i'll come back to you after 
in the next row. So this one's two together in the same stitch, nine double crochet along. The next row, two together in the same stitch, ten double crochet along, two together on the eleventh. I'll come back to you at the end of the next row. Okay, everyone, just wanted to confirm with you, this is row 20. So we just finished doing row 20, and we're going, I'm closing with slip stitch, and coming back in the same stitch, doing my single two chain. Coming into the next one. <clears throat> It's where we have those two together on the second one. I'm going to do two in the same stitch. And then one per stitch. So you should have 10 double crochets alone. And go into your 11th double crochet and increase two together on the same stitch. So I've done my 10 double crochets alone. And on the second one from the two together, I'm going to add, which is number 11, two in the same stitch. So we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Um, this row 21. Now, row 22 is just single crochets exactly how we have here. So we're going to do single crochets, one per stitch. Okay. That will be row 22. Once we finish doing the single crochets, we can cut our thread and we're going to start to make the stands for the flowers. So I'm just going to come in with my green after that. Okay, so row 22 is the, um, the singles. And then row 23, we start the stands. I believe that's what it is. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 20, going into row 21, so I've closed in with slip stitch, coming back into the same one, single. So this whole row will be of singles, and then I'm cutting my thread and coming in with the green. So not hard at all, singles, one per stitch, all the way around until we come here and then cut the thread. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so finish row 22, going into row 23. You can grab anywhere you want. I'm just going to start here at the edge, anywhere in the edge. So I'm going into the single. I'm going to do a single. Another single and another single. I'm going to skip one single and coming in to the next one. So I have four singles, but I skip the space here. I'm gonna do a five chain. One, two, three, four, five chain. I'm coming in my first, where I've closed the single with slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain. We're creating the leaves for the flowers and slip stitch on the first one. And five chain again. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming in the first one and slip stitch again. So I have two chains of five on each side and eight chain in the center. I'm going to skip a space and coming into the next one. Single, single, and single. So I have three singles now. I'm going to do one, two, three, four chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, come in my fourth. Single, single, and single again. I'm going to skip a space and single again. I'm going to repeat my leaf. One, two, three, four, five. Coming into the first one, closing in with single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain. Into the first one. 
slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Back into the first one, slip stitch. Skip a space into the next one and create three singles, one per space. One, two, three, four chains. Skip one, two, three into my fourth. One, two, three, uh, three singles. Skip a space into the next one and create your, your leaves again. So we're always going to alternate leaves, chain four, skip three space, going to the four. Do your three singles, skip a space. Do the next single, go up and do your five chain, eight chain, and five chain. Close it into the first loop with slip stitch. Skip a space, three singles. Do four chain, one, two, three, going to the fourth space. And now create your chains again. Two, three, four, and five. Into the first one, slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to alternate like that. If we need to, um, if we need to alternate anything at the end, uh, because we always have to have leaf, chain, leaf, chain. This is where the flowers will be built, okay? The leaves are in between the flowers. So if we have to um, uh, do anything at the end so we can balance properly, then we will, okay? I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we finished with all the green. I'm going to come in with the purple. And I will be using, after this purple, I'll be using the yellow. So it can match more or less the other two that I had created with yellow and orangey. And then this one has the yellow and the purple. So it will sort of like grab both colors. Um, and why not, right? So I can make it different. So I'm going to come in anywhere where we have the four chain. And I'm going to do a single. And we'll be building five groups of two incomplete double crochet. So I'm doing one chain, two chain. So that's my first double crochet and my second, okay? Two chain, coming back in, creating again another incomplete two double crochet, two chain space, and again, incomplete, and the second one, and close it together. So I have three groups. I need five. So I'm doing again, one, two, and close it. So I have four, two chain space between them, one, two and close it together. So I have my five incomplete double crochet closed all at once. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna jump from here to the next four chain. Now some of you, depending upon your tension, you have tighter or, or looser. I'm gonna do mine with seven. I think I should be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain. If you need to do eight or nine, go ahead. Okay, so again, we're going to build those two and complete and then close it. And all the way around the same way, two chain space and create again those five groups and then complete and close. One, two, and then come in and do your groups. So I have three, one, two, chain space. Take out once, take out again, and then close. So I have four, two chain, and again, take out once, take out once, and then close all together. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. Repeat everything again, the same way, all the way around. Building those five groups of two incomplete double crochet 
and two chain space between them. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, everyone, so I finished the purple. I'm going to come in with my yellow. And what you want to do, I mean, you can start on any of these green. I'm going to come right in the center where I have those eight chain, and I'm going to come right below and do a single, tucking in that purple string or um, chain that we did in the back. And I'm going to do, so I did a single, and I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come in that first space between the first and the second group. I'm trying to hide this little thread here. But if I can't hide it through here, I'll hide it. I'll hide it another way with the uh, smaller hook. Okay, so I'm going to come in that first and second uh, space. And I'm going to do four double crochets. I'm coming in all in the same space. I'm coming in doing a single. So I'm forming my first loop. In the next one, I'm doing single and four double crochets again. So it's always about doing these loops, this whole row, um, the paddles, I should say. One, two, three, and four double crochets. So we have single and four double crochets. Coming back in. And doing my single again into the next space single and four double crochets again this is how we're creating our paddles and then single all in the same stitch single and four double crochets only now we only do these four double crochets uh, this way with one single only at the beginning of this flower and at the end because we need to hook it on here. So as you recall, we went this way. We did four double crochets and single. We got to do the opposite side, single and four double crochets, one chain. I'm coming from behind into the center, that stitch where we did the leaps. And I'm going to tuck in the purple string in the back also with a single. And one chain. And again, coming in that first and second group, four double crochets again, and a single to start off. And at the end, we do the contrary, a single and four double crochets. Okay, so we've done the four double crochets and single into the next space. Single, oops, and four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Coming back in, single into the next space. Single and four. Double crochet one, two, three, and four. Coming back in, single, single, and four double crochets. The opposite of the beginning ones we did. four double crochet. So we did four double crochets, single, directly into the next one, single, four double crochets, single, single, four double crochets, single, single, four double crochets, one chain, coming in through the back into the um, stitch where we did the leaf, Bring that string, single, one chain, and again, four double crochets, and a single. So this is how we're going to do this row all the way around. 
and then you can cut your thread because we're going to come in with the white okay I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I finished with my flowers I'm going to come back in with the white you can start anywhere so in between the first and the second petal right behind it we have that single I'm going to do a single try to hide this thread as I go I'm going to do a four chain one two three and four behind the second and the third paddle there's another single right between it and do a single so we're gonna have two loops of four chain in between the second and the third paddle two three and four and I'm coming on this last one here between the third and the fourth paddle with a single so we have two loops now we're going to do either chain seven or chain eight or chain nine depending upon your tension um let me just check here for a second so i did one chain two three four five six seven eight nine so i'm going to do chain nine you measure yours and you see if it's perfect enough so it has to be stretched like this not like that or pulled okay just straight and then one two three four chain again in the back on the single with a single one two three four chain again and on my last one here Okay, so we have those two loops again. And then chain nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And repeat everything all the way around the same way with a single. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished this row. Closed in with a slip stitch on my first single. I'm going to come inside of this four chain space with a single. One, two, three, four chain. Coming into the next loop. We have two loops here, remember. I have to cut this because this is getting annoying. So we have those two loops of four chains. So I did a four chain and made one loop. We'll have one loop only here. We're going to do five double crochets, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to do my sixth one, but I'm going to grab the eight chain here on the green so it can stay standing. Okay, and then I'm going to do five more. So we'll have a total of 11 double crochets on this nine chain or how many amount of chain you've done everybody has different tension okay one two three four five I'm going to come directly inside the next loop of the four chain and single one two three four another single on the next loop so we're always going to end up with one loop here only so one two three four five coming in and grab the a loop of eight chains and five more double crochets four and five Okay, everyone coming in with the last row you can start anywhere um, on the four chain okay so I'm gonna do a single we're gonna build shells of three double crochet here so single two chain that's my first double crochet my second and my third one two three coming in and doing slip stitch 
one two three four five chain coming on the first one that we closed in and slip stitch one two three chain again coming in the first one again and slip stitch so now we have two chains of three and one of five I'm going to come back in and finish my shell of three double crochet it's going to be like this on all four chains that we had created okay so where we have the four chains then I'm coming in my first double crochet here on the back loops only okay back loops only I'm doing single single okay single all the way through using the back loop only you can grab both loops if you want but it does look nicer using the back one only it gives a different effect on the pattern and I had created the round doilies this way so I'm because I'm creating this as sets I'm doing the same thing as I did with the round doilies okay then coming straight in again that four chain and create your shell of three double crochet one two three chain coming in closing with slip stitch one two three four five chain coming in and again slip stitch one two three and again all in that same one that we closed at the beginning and then complete your shell of three chains come directly on that first double crochet back loop singles So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you, Lusvania Art Crochet, for the inspiration. Uh, her pattern is uh, different only up until here, and then she starts with the flowers. And I decided to do the extension, and so it will match up my round doilies centerpiece, as you see here. Okay. So I'll leave it at that. I'll leave the measurements below. Thank you so much, everybody. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps the channel tremendously and, of course, myself. And I will see you in the next tutorial. God bless you. Take care of yourselves and each other. And always be kind to everyone. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.